Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be processing a mosaic in Astro Pixel Processor. So the other night I shot the Seder region, I shot two panels, both of them with HA and O3. Uh, it's going to be a similar process if you're doing one-shot color mosaics. The only difference being is that here in the raw fits, uh, you would be choosing one-shot color as opposed to uh, not choosing anything if you're going with a mono camera and filters. So uh, for this one, this is not, gonna, not going to apply. Uh, we're just going to get straight into it. So multi-channel filter processing, I'm going to leave that ticked. Multi-session processing, I'm going to untick because all this was done in one night. And then I'm going to go through and load my lights. Now, there is not any particular way to drop these in. Um, you just dump them all in and you're good to go. So we're going to go into uh, my plan from the other night. And you'll see I've got my two panels listed from the ASI Air. I've got 1-1 and 2-1. So I'm going to go right in. And I'm going to select uh, all of the oxygen. Load those in and put them under oxygen three. Go ahead and load in my hydrogen alpha. There we go. Hydrogen alpha, hit OK. And then we're going to go in and add the second panel. So we're just going to back up one. Oh, I should say go up. And we're going to go into the second panel. Uh, now, quick point of order here. Uh, when processing an APP, it's usually not recommended to do more than four panels. Um, for whatever reason, it tends to get a little confused. And it takes forever for it to actually process. So one of the things you could do uh, if you had, let's say, six panels or eight panels, is you could do two, two panels together another two and another two and at that point once you're done with the registration of them you could then take them back in as stacks and then apply the stacks and have the stacks ran together so uh, yeah I would never do more than uh, two by twos uh, in here so anything above do stacks first and then put the stacks together when you're ready to do the combine so everything's in there hydrogen alpha we're good to go and now I'm just going to add in my masters real quick. So we'll speed up the video for this. Okay, and there we go. We're back. Um, Quick point of order, I know a lot of people have been asking for a blink feature, which uh, they have in PixInsight, where you can check your subs uh, and then dump them if you don't like them or cut them out of your stack before you load them into the program to start processing. And while APP hasn't quite come out with that yet, it's actually very easy to do if you just click on the first line. It'll pull up uh, what you got, and then just use your arrow keys on your keyboard and you'll see that you can go down through them one at a time. It takes a quick second for it to load, uh, but that's fine. You can go down and check all your subs. If for some reason you do not like the sub, and let me move this over a little bit. If for some reason you don't like the sub, all you need to do is untick it, and it won't, uh, it won't stack that. So again, just use your arrow keys to go down and inspect. Uh, your sub to see if you like or don't like you'll see that it's grayed out but if you want it just leave it ticked and it'll be right back where it goes okay so I got all my masters are loaded in here uh, my lights are all loaded in here uh, I didn't bother with the flats darks and etc because I've already have masters that were created so I'm gonna go with those so again multi-session processing unticked you know obviously do if you have done this over the course of several nights you will want to do that uh, and I do have multi-channel filter processing. Calibration, we're going to leave alone. Analyze stars, we're going to leave alone. Register, a little bit different. So under register, for dy dynamic distortion correction, you're going to want to tick that. 
And then of course it'll say same camera and optics. Uh, they say you can untick this, but basically what this is, or I should say you can leave it ticked, but basically what this is, uh, is if you have multiple people or a friend of yours or whoever who are all shooting the same object and you're combining data, uh, you would want this definitely unticked. So, um, and it's just because of the variations of the two, of the two cameras and potentially the telescope. So you would untick it if it was a group project. However, if it's just you, you did it all one night and you're good to go, uh, you can just tick it if you want or just leave it ticked, which is the automatic. Uh, distortion model, we're going to leave as is. And under registration mode, we're going to select mosaic. Um, so once you put in the mosaic, uh, it'll process it as a mosaic. It's going to stack the individual channels together. So that's pretty much it for the register. We're going to go into normalize. Pretty much leaving everything the same here. I'm not really changing anything. Uh, this would be, of course, if you are uh, starting to put your stacks together. We're going to go right into six. And we're going to come into integrate. We're going to integrate per channel. Uh, again, because I'm using multiple filters. And I'm going to stack 100%. Uh, which is all 120 frames. I've already been through them line by line. I don't want to bore you with that, but I went ahead and went through all of them and they're really good subs. So there you go. That's all we got to do. I am going to tick enable multi-band bending, uh, multi-band blending, excuse me. And uh, we are going to uh, just do 5%. Now on LNC, I am going to put it in a first degree LNC. Um, normally you really wouldn't do this too often. However, I'm adding it because sometimes the, uh, where it overlaps between the frames, uh, sometimes you get like an imaginary looking line in there. You can kind of see it, but you kind of can't. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take it first degree, leave it at three iterations. And with that, I am pretty much good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit integrate. Uh, we'll name it of course. I name it properly. There we go. And I'm going to click OK. Uh, again, it's going to give you a little warning. You're starting the mosaic registration mode with the same camera and optics enabled. If you are registering previously created mosaic panels or data that was already registered by APP or another application, you need to have this disabled. So again, if you're doing a lot of uh, panels, uh, you would want to do them like two and two, two and two, two and two if you were shooting for six. Um, when you went, after you've done the individual stacks, you would go, when you went to pull those three stacks back together to get your full image, you would want to untick same camera and optics. Um, however, I'm only doing a, a one by twos, so I'm gonna leave this as in. I'm not gonna cancel it. Uh, scale stop values. So this is, yeah, this is kind of actually interesting. Um, starting the mosaic registration mode, possibly too low of a scale stop value. A higher scale stop bar corresponds to, to lower overlap. So if we go back to uh, register, so for integrate, if we drop back here to register, you'll come down, you'll see quadrilateral, scale start, scale stop. And if you hover over it, it'll give you uh, what it's asking for. So for mosaic mode, you need to increase the scale stop, usually to at least 10. This will correspond roughly of having 10% of an overlap between the mosaic panels. If you have a bigger overlap between the panels, for instance, 15%, then the stale, stale damn it, the scale stop can be relaxed to seven or eight. So typically I will go ahead and set that to 10, um, even though I'm running 15 to 20% of overlap as normal, I will typically do that. So you can set that and then you should be good to go. We're gonna go back to integrate, hit integrate. The name, we shouldn't have any more. Uh, yeah, same aptics, I don't worry about it. And there we go. So we're gonna let this run, we'll come back to it here shortly and uh, we'll go from there. And with the power of video, we are done. So let's just take a look at what we got here. <clears throat> Now let me get this out of the way. <laughs> Pesky little thing. There we go. All right, now it's out. So we've got our our two integrations, our two stacks. Uh, here's the hydrogen alpha.
there we go lots of good data there and then of course we just had the o3 so you'll see the mosaic has been put together this so this top piece this is one panel and you can kind of see where it's stacked into the other whoops sorry about that let's go back let's go back there we go um, you can see where the edge of it is where it lines up uh, with the second one so a little bit easier to see it on the oxygen too if we back out of it you can see where it's a little cockeyed and that's just because of the framing uh, of the camera when I was taking the picture so there's the edge of the first panel and there's the edge of the second panel so you can see where it's been stitched together so at this point um, it would be just like you would do anything else you would uh, take it into your combine so the combine RGB and it'll put the two of them together uh, you can use these the, just like you would normally there's no no change no difference in what you're doing here um, with anything else you've done you're just going to add the uh, two stacks together and we'll get what you want so let's just throw the HA in there and there we go and then once you calculate it it puts it all together so mosaics pretty easy uh, overall Sometimes you will get some registration errors. Uh, it, it's not terribly often, but it does occur. It does happen. And uh, sometimes you just, uh, you got to keep trying or keep making adjustments. So uh, this is the picture that's come out so far and uh, we'll take it in. I'll show you the, uh, final, the final step.